Last for this week, parathyroid glands. These are small glands that are located right on the thyroid, um, kind of in back. This is um, four small glands that are the parathyroid glands, and they have only endocrine function, at least as far as we know. So parathyroid is involved, are involved in calcium homeostasis. Calcium homeostasis. That is actually super important. What do we need calcium for in our bodies? What processes use calcium? I actually want you to write some down. We've got muscle contractions. Remember, um, calcium needs to bind to troponin to initiate muscle contraction, and that's true with smooth skeletal and cardiac muscle. We've got synaptic transmission. So release of neurotransmitters, that's pretty darn important. Vesicle dependent, um, sorry, calcium dependent vesicle release. On that note, there's other things that are also released. So other vesicles, vesicle release, um, insulin, so insulin release, for example. Um, another one that we will come back to is blood clotting. Uses calcium. So super important to maintain calcium within its normal um, healthy functioning levels. Hypocalcemia can result in a like under-functioning nervous system and lack of muscle contraction. Hyper um, cal calcemia can cause the opposite, like twitchiness, extra contractions, problems. We will talk about calcium with the cardiac muscle as well. Um, so calcium is needs to be maintained in both the extracellular fluid and the intracellular fluid, the right amounts, right? But where is most of the calcium in your body? If we want to be able to regulate these where do we get it from or give it to? The bones. The bones are made of calcium. And what's pretty cool about the bones is that calcium that's put in there can be taken out and put in even though the bones are like already formed. Um, and that's both good because we can maintain calcium homeostasis, but also could be bad if we don't get enough calcium in our diet, we have to take it from our bones. It literally comes out of the bones. So let's review for ourselves quickly the types of bone cells from the fall. And don't need to remind yourself of all the, the stem cells, that's this. The two that you should um, remember and refer back to are osteoblasts. These build bone matrix, um, matrix and therefore deposit calcium. What's this gonna do to calcium in the blood? It's gonna decrease it. Osteoclasts are going to break down bone. Blasts are destructive. So that's going to release calcium into the blood. So these two types of cells are regulated by the parathyroid hormones and also the thyroid hormone calcitonin. So let's look at that. Okay, so let's look at the response of our body to high blood calcium. So let's say, okay, let's say we have high calcium in the blood. Too high, too high. I'm sorry, I actually wanna start with low. Let's start with low. Low calcium. The reason I want to start with that is that's the one that's going to trigger the parathyroid response. So the parathyroid gland is going to detect that, integrate the information, and release an output signal, which is PTH, parathyroid hormone. PTH is going to signal something in the bones. Do you think it's osteoblasts or osteoclasts? Well, we need to raise calcium levels in the blood. So we need osteoclasts to break down bone and release it into the bloodstream. 
osteoclasts are going to release calcium and increase calcium in the blood. You may also remember PTH is also going to trigger reabsorption in the kidneys. We're going to get to the urinary system at the end of the year. Reabsorption means the kidneys are taking something back in. They're keeping it. So this is going to be keep calcium to increase calcium in the blood. Lastly, PTH is also going to increase intestinal absorption of calcium. So we have increased calcium in blood. Again, yeah. Increased calcium as a response is going to turn off our stimulus, counteractor stimulus, and turn off the feedback loop. So second, we need a response to high blood calcium. This is actually not going to be taken care of by the parathyroid hormone or parathyroid gland even. Think about little, little parathyroid gland, it can only do so much. Pretty much all it does is produce parathyroid hormone, which responds to low calcium. High calcium is actually detected by the thyroid gland. Now, thyroid gland, you remember, increases metabolism by producing thyroid hormones. These are different cells. It's going to be what's called, let me do that, parafollicular cells. I'll show you a picture of them in just a moment. They're also called C cells because they're kind of clear. These are the cells that are going to respond, um, detect and respond to high blood calcium. Um, the thyroid gland is going to release calcitonin from these parafollicular cells. Calcitonin is, a, is the output signal a hormone that is going to target osteoclasts, but in this case, it's going to decrease osteoclast activity. So we have less bone breakdown. It's also going to decrease kidney reabsorption of calcium so that we have more out in the urine. So more calcium in urine more calcium in bone, both gonna result in less calcium in the blood responding to our stimulus. Awesome, right? Okay, so let's look at these cells. I should have shown them in the same picture, but um, here they are. So here is the Thyroid gland, you remember? Here are the simple cuboidal epithelium that make up those follicular cells. What do these follicular cells produce? Learning check, write it down. Official, what do they produce? They produce P, they produce T3 and T4. What do these clear cells or parafollicular cells produce calcitonin, right? What does calcitonin respond to? High blood calcium. What does T3 and T4 respond to? Being cold, anything that you need to increase the metabolism. Okay, what we've done here is describe the anatomy of the parathyroid glands, the location, the major hormone secreted and the control pathway and their primary effects. Second, we went back to the thyroid gland. So the thing that was new here is, oops, this second part here, this down here, um, was what we didn't really do before. We're doing it, just did it now. Um, hormone secreted by the thyroid to cause regulation of blood calcium levels. 